Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today we are joining up our Bloomscape Cal flowers to make this gorgeous blanket. In this easy to follow step-by-step -step crochet tutorial, I'll show you how to join your granny squares with a delicate flat braid join. It is super easy to do and looks so much more complicated than it really is. Plus, I'll show you how to edge your entire blanket with the same border, the same join, just to even out so your join will look the same as the edge of your blanket, as well as this smooth, finished, flat lay edge. And yes, all of these gorgeous flower granny squares are already tutorials and written patterns. They are linked in the playlist in the description box down below, so be sure to check that out. If you want to follow along with a written pattern, all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnery.com, and you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. And if English isn't your first language, you can click this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. My blank it is four blocks wide and six blocks tall, so 24 Bloomscape squares in total, and the finished size of my blanket, including the join, is 46 inches by 68 inches, or 117 centimeters by 173 centimeters. I'm using the same yarn as I did for the squares. This is Favorite from Ice Yarns. It is 110 meters per 100 grams, or 229 yards per 3.35 ounces. They say it is a four worsted weight acrylic, but it is a little bit more like a DK weight yarn. It's quite thin for a worsted weight yarn, but you can use whatever yarn you used for your squares. For the center join, I'm using a different yarn. I'm using Bernat Satin. Now, Bernat Satin has a really nice shine to it, like a satin shine, and it just gives the join a little bit of an added detail, but you, of course, could use the same color yarn or a different color of the same type of yarn, whatever you have on hand. So this is 100 grams, or 182 meters, or 3.5 ounces, and 200 yards. It is a four-weight yarn, and just really, really gorgeous color. I really liked it for the join. It's really soft and really a gorgeous yarn. I am using a 5.5 millimeter hook, the same hook I used for all of the flower granny squares. You will also need a needle for sewing in your ends and a pair of scissors. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off and let's get started. To start joining up our Bloomscape squares, just grab your first square, just pop your hook into any of those corner spaces, loop of white yarn on your hook. Now you can use any color you'd like for white. Uh, because I used cream, I want to use white for my next row, just to make sure that we can see white. So bring it through, slip stitch with both strands to join, and drop your tail and chain four. One, two, three, and four. We're gonna jump right over into this next space and make one single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. And into the next space, one single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, and four and into the next space, one single crochet. Chain four. One, two, three, and four. So we're gonna continue this all the way along. Each loop gets a single crochet and a chain four all the way along. You can pause the video and just keep working along and I'll meet you when we get to our corner. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. When you get to your corner, I've done my chain four, so just into that corner space, one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, and four, 
And we're gonna go right back into that same corner space and make one more single crochet. So there's our corner and chain four. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet into the next space. And now we're gonna keep going just like that, doing a single crochet and a chain four, single crochet, chain four, into each space all the way along, and corners, get a single crochet, chain four, and a single crochet. So pause the video and keep working all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, I've done my chain four, so I'm gonna single crochet into that same corner space. One single crochet, and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And I'm gonna slip stitch right into the legs of that first slip stitch we made. Right into the center of those legs. I'm going to slip stitch to join. And chain one to secure my yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And if you want to get that leg looking just perfect, you can sew in this first tail just over the top of those two legs. Can you see that? Let me show you how to do that one. So it looks like that before we do anything. So I'm just gonna thread my first tail over that stitch just to bring it to the back side. See how that just pinches it a bit shut? Then from the back, you can just sew in that tail. There, just like that. And now continue to sew in all of your tails so that we are ready to join without tails for the next round. So pause the video, make sure your tails are sewn in, and I'll meet you back for joining all of our squares together. So now we have all of our squares and all of our tails have been sewn in. We are ready to start joining. So what you wanna do is lay out your squares in the order that you would like them to be in your blanket. Then when you're happy with how the layout is, we're just gonna stack up each row so we know what we are gonna be joining as we build our blanket. So just starting on the side you're gonna begin make your stacks. And then we're gonna begin with our first stack. So for the first block of our first stack, we are going to join on all four sides. We're gonna edge it basically, get it ready for joining. So insert your hook into any corner space. Loop of your joining color on your hook. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. And drop your tail and chain four. One, two, three, and four. And into the next space, one single crochet. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. And into the next space, one single crochet. So this is the same as we did for our last round, but we're using our joining color. So just keep going, doing a single crochet and a chain four into each of these loops all the way along, and I'll meet you when we get to our first corner. When we get to the corner, I've done my chain four after my single crochet into that last loop. So into the corner, we're gonna do one single crochet and chain six. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now into that same corner space, we're gonna do one single crochet, just to finish off that corner. That's our new corner right there. And chain four. One, two, three, and four. So into the space, one single crochet, chain four, and into the space, one single crochet, chain four. So now you can pause the video and keep working all the way around. A single crochet and chain four into each of these loops. And corners are single crochet, chain six, and single crochet. So pause the video and keep working all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started.
When you get back to where we started, I've done my single crochet and chain four into that last loop. So we're gonna finish off working into our corner. So into our corner space, one single crochet, chain six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now we're gonna slip stitch into those legs to join right down there into that very first stitch we made, just into those legs. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And chain one. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. So this is our first block done. Now take your second flower from your stack so now pause the video and do the exact same join on our new block, but leaving one side open. So start, so join your yarn and do your loops all the way along three sides and I'll meet you when you get to this corner. So when you get to your last corner of your second block, this corner here, we're gonna start the same way with our single crochet but we're just gonna do half of our chain. So we're gonna chain three. One, two, and three. And now we are ready to start joining up on this side. So get the block you have finished and just put that above you in your workspace. Always be joining above. And just get yourself lined up. So pull your hook up a little bit so we have a larger loop and take your hook out. Put your hook down into the loop the corner loop of the block we're joining to. Just put your hook down into that loop. Put your yarn back on your hook and bring it through. And now we're gonna finish our chain. So chain three. One, two, and three. Single crochet to finish off the corner. And our chain, we're just gonna do half of our chain. So we're gonna do half a chain and we're gonna put it through the loop above and we're gonna finish our chain. So for the side, we're gonna chain two, one and two, loop up so you have a bit of a bigger loop, hook down into the next loop, we yarn back on your hook and bring it through and finish your chain. So chain two, one and two into the next loop, one single crochet, chain two, one and two, bigger loop, hook out, down into the next loop of the block we have finished, loop back on our hook, bring it through and chain two, one and two, Find your next loop, one single crochet, chain two, one and two, bigger loop, hook out, hook down into the next loop, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, and chain two, one and two. Find your next loop, one single crochet, chain two, one and two, bigger loop, hook out, look for that next loop, put your hook down into that next loop, yarn back on your hook, bring it up and through, and chain two, one and two. So now we've worked ahead a little bit, you can kind of take, go back and look at our cute join and you can see that it looks like a nice twisted braid. That's because we're taking our hook out. You don't have to take your hook out, but it does add a really nice finish. So it looks like oh, we have a twisted braid instead of just a slip stitch into the loop. So you can pause the video and just keep working along this side, making your single crochet into the stitch and your chain two taking your hook out, putting your hook down into that next loop, yarn back on your hook, bringing it through, and chaining two, one and two. 
So we're going to keep doing this all the way along the side. You can pause the video and I will meet you when we get closer to our end. After your last chain two, we are ready to go into that corner space. So one single crochet into the corner space. Chain three, one, two, and three. Loop up and hook out. We want to look for our corner loop, our corner space. This guy right there, right here. So put your hook in, loop back on your hook, bring it through, and chain three. One, two, and three. And now we're just going to do the same as we would be joining any other spot. So right in between these legs, we are going to slip stitch to join. So pop your hook in, slip stitch to join, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through, and snug that down to secure. And now we have joined two blocks. So now you're going to want to pause the video and keep working along, joining your top row. So continue doing our loops on the three sides and joining on the one side all the way along until the top row of your blanket is joined. So get your first block situated above you in your work area and we are ready to start joining. So just get that yarn back on your hook so into the corner space on the block we're joining. I've done my single crochet, so I'm going to do my chain three. One, two, three, and then pull up a bigger loop so I can take my hook out. We're going to join kitty corner, so I'm not going to join directly into the block that we are joining to. I'm going to join into the space of the block kitty corner, or the block across from where I'm joining, right here. So just pop that yarn back on your hook and bring it up and do your chain three. One, two, and three. Now into that same corner space, one single crochet, chain two, one, and two, pull up a bigger loop, and look for the next loop. So all of our corner is done. We've done our corner, so we're going to be working in to the first loop, which is right here. So into that first loop, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, and chain two. One, and two. And now it's exactly as we've joined the other rows, we're just joining on one side. So single crochet, chain two, loop up, hook down into the next space, yarn back on your hook, bringing it through, chaining two, one and two, and single crochet into the next loop of the block we are joining. So the only difference is where we started for our second row. So we just start kitty corner into this block here, into that corner space. So everything is the exact same. Just pause the video and keep working along and I'll meet you at the end of the row. When you get to your corner, I have done my chain two and into that corner space, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, and three, loop up and hook out, and loop down into that corner loop, yarn back on your hook, bring it through, and chain three, one, two, and three, and we're going to slip stitch into those legs to join. So slip stitch into the legs and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Hook up, yarn through, and snug that down to secure. Now we're ready to join the next block. We're going to be joining on two sides, and two sides is how we are going to join every single block of our blanket except this first one of each row. So this is how we're going to join the first block of each row, and this is how we're going to join every other block. 
So we're joining on two sides. So go ahead, make sure your flower is the right way up if it is a pansy, and join your yarn, make your loops on the two sides, and I'll meet you when you get right up to this corner. So I've done my loops on the two sides, and we are ready to join. So I've done my single crochet into this corner space, so now it's time to do our chain three. One, two, three, and hook up and just to make a bigger loop and your hook out. And now we're gonna go again, kitty corner. So not joining straight up, we're joining to this block over here. So just find that corner space right here, and that is where we're gonna put our hook down into that corner space. So loop of yarn on your hook, bring it through, and chain three. One, two, and three, and single crochet back into that space. Chain two, one, and two. Hook up to make a bigger loop, and hook out. Now look for your next loop, it's this guy over here. So just remember, this join is all of the same loop. We count that, we're just joining to this once. So we join over here. So just remember that these two spaces, these two loops, count as one. So instead of joining to this one, we're just joining across kitty corner, and we are ignoring this space right there. So where we're joining next is this loop right there. So loop back on your hook, bring it through, chain two, one, and two, and single crochet into the next loop of the block we are joining. So you can pause the video and just keep working along, doing your chain two, putting your loop through the next loop of the block we have finished, doing your chain two, one and two, and single crocheting into the next loop, all the way along this side. And I will meet you when we get closer to this corner right here. When you get close to your center, into your last loop, I've done my single crochet and chain two, so I'm not into the corner space, I'm into this last loop on the side. So we're just gonna do the same thing. Our last loop is right here on the block we're joining. So just make sure you get all the way to the corner with your regular joining, and then you do your single crochet into your corner space and your chain three. One, two, and three. So hook up to make a bigger loop and hook out. We wanna be going in kitty corner again. So from this block, where we started to this block over here. And we just wanna look for the corner space. So you can follow the granny square corner all the way up. We wanna go into this one with our joining yarn right there. So that is the space. Don't worry about how many loops of yarn are here. And if your tails are in the way, don't worry about it. Just put your hook down into the corner space of the opposite block. Loop of yarn back on your hook bring it through and do your chain three. One, two, and three, and single crochet right back into that corner space of the block we're joining. One single crochet. Now rotate your work. We always want the block we are joining to up above us, just so it's easier for, to keep track of what we are doing. So finished block above, block we're joining right in front of us. Chain two, one and two, loop up and hook out. And we're gonna join into this next loop of the side. This guy right there. So now it's the same as we've always been doing for our sides. Just bringing our yarn up and through and doing our chain two, one, and two, and single crocheting into the next space. So you can pause the video and just keep working along, doing the join that we've done. Now it's the same as joining on one side. We're just doing the same thing over and over. So pause the video and keep working along, and I'll meet you when we get closer to our edge. And also, don't worry, if your blocks are not lining up like this, don't panic yet. This is not the time to panic. Get all the way down to the end, and you'll see that they will be lining up. So pause the video, and I'll meet you when we get over here. At the end of your row, I've done my chain two, so I'm ready to work into my corner space. 
just to start my corner. So single crochet into the corner and chain three. One, two, and three. Hook up to make a bigger loop and hook down and hook down into the opposite loop of the block we have finished. Yarn back on your hook, bring it through, and chain three. One, two, three, and slip stitch right into those legs to join. Right into the center of those legs, slip stitch to join, and chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that is your second block joined on your second row. And that is how we're going to join every single block all the way along our blanket. So there our block is joined. We joined on the two sides. And now we just keep adding the blocks joining on two sides all the way along this row. And then for your next row, you'll repeat what we did here. So we've done all of the learning we need to do. We know everything of how to join our blanket. The first block always just joins on the one side. Kitty corner to start. Other than that, it's the exact same as our first row. Second block and every block of our blanket that is not the first one of the row. We just start joining opposite kitty corner and also in the corner we join kitty corner into the corner. So that's how you're going to keep going to join up all of your squares. So now as you're working on your blanket you can go back to the chapter you are working on either if we're joining on one side for our first row one side for the first block of any row, or joining on two sides for every other block. All those chapters are there to just walk you through step by step so you know exactly how to join up your blanket. So pause the video and I will see you when all of your blocks are joined. Now when all of your blocks are joined, we are ready to go around the edge. Just gonna finish the edge so that it matches our join in the center. So grab the same yarn you used for our loops and we're going to loop around the outside edge. Now we can join anywhere. We're just going to join into any loop. It does not have to be in the corner or anywhere in particular. Just don't join in a join. So don't join in these spaces in between your blocks. Ignore those. Join anywhere else. So I'm just going to pick a spot and just pop your hook straight in. Grab the same color yarn that you used, the last color you used, and loop of your new color on your hook, or the same color really, loop of your new yarn on your hook. Slip stitch with both strands to join and drop your tail. We're going to have to sew that in later. And chain three. One, two, and three. That counts as our chain four. So if you join your yarn in a different way, chain three and into the next loop, one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and into the next space, one single crochet, chain four, one, two, three, four. So you can pause the video and continue doing a single crochet and chain four into each of these loops all the way along. We're just making another set of loops, just like that. So pause the video and keep working along. I'll meet you when you get to your first join. When you get to that first join, you have the two spaces. So what we're going to do, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and into the space, one single crochet into that first space, and one single crochet into the second space just like that. And now chain four, one, two, three, and four, and one single crochet into the space. So our joins are going to look just like that, one single crochet into each side. And that's going to get our stitch count ready for the next round. When you reach your corner space, just do your regular chain four to get to it. And then into your corner space, we're going to do single crochet and a chain six. One, two, three, four, 
five, and six, and one more single crochet into that same corner loop right there. So your corners are a chain six, and everything else is going to be your chain four. So pause the video and keep working along, doing your chain four and single crochet into the space all the way around. And remember, your joins are just single crochet, single crochet, no chaining in between. Also, when you're done one side of your blanket, also just go back and check that we didn't put any chain fours at that join right there. So just check before you move on because that can be an easy spot to do a loop instead of just single crochet, single crochet. So pause the video, work all the way around, and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, this is our join right here. So I've done my single crochet and chain four. We're just going to slip stitch right in the legs of that first slip stitch we made, right where we joined. I'm just going to pop my hook in right there and slip stitch to join. And chain one. Now we can cut our yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes this color. Now we're going to be working on the next color, which is this white right here. We're going to do exactly the opposite. So we've done the green, now we're moving on to the white. So pick a different spot. We don't want to join right where we joined, and we also don't want to join near where we joined our block. So ignore this and ignore our other join, but we can join in a similar neighborhood. Just find one of your last loops that you made and just pop your hook in. So a loop of whatever color you used for white on your hook. We're just going to mirror what we did. Bring your yarn through slip stitch with both strands to join, drop your tail, we're going to have to sew that in completely, and chain three, one, two, three. If you join your yarn in a different way, do a chain four, and then one single crochet into the next space, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet into the next space. So we're just working our way all the way around our blanket, doing the same thing as the previous row, chain four and single crochet into each space. I just want to show you what we're going to do when we get to our corner, that corner loop. So chain four to get to it, same as usual, single crochet into your corner space, chain four, one, two, three, and four, and single crochet right back into the space, into that corner loop. So we're just making a new loop in our corner. It will look just like that. And now you can keep going around your blanket doing a chain four, two, three, four, and a single crochet into the space all the way around your blanket. And now when you get to your joins, they're just spaces, so there's nothing else fancy to do at all for this round. We're just gonna do our single crochet chain four and single crochet right over that join. So these are just regular loops now. So pause the video, keep working all the way around, and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, I've done my last single crochet into my last space. So chaining four, one, two, three, and four. And we are going to slip stitch into the legs of that very first stitch. We're going to slip stitch right there, just in between the legs of that first stitch. So pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. Chain one to secure your yarn. Cut your yarn, leaving a long enough tail to sew in with a needle later. Pull your hook up and your yarn through and snug that down to secure. And that finishes the white row. The last one we need to do is this lighter green. To start the next color, 
just grab the same color of yarn and you don't have to worry about doing anything different all the way around. These are all the same spaces now. So just pop your hook in to any space, loop of yarn on your hook, whatever color you used the last one for your blocks or the same one as your uh, granny squares. Bring it through and slip stitch with both strands to join. Drop your tail just holding it along the back of your work. We will have to sew that in later and chain two. One and two. So that counts as your first single crochet and chain two. Now into the next space, one single crochet, chain two, one and two. Into the next space, one single crochet, chain two, and into the next space, one single crochet. So in this round, we are just tying our, or shrinking down our loops again to get at the same size. So chain two and single crochet into each space all the way along the side of your blanket and all the way to the corner. So chain two and then single crochet into that corner space. One single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet into that same space. One single crochet. Chain two and single crochet into the space. Chain two and single crochet into the next space. So you can pause the video and keep working along. It'll be a little bit snug and a little bit tight, but that is what we want. It's going to hold the shape of our blanket and get all these cute stitches looking like matching on both sides, basically. So instead of being flat and loopy and stretchy, they're gonna be nice and snug and matching both sides. So pause the video and keep working all the way along and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. So when you reach back to where we started, I've done my last single crochet into the space. So chain two, one and two. And now we're gonna slip stitch in between these legs of that first stitch we made, right into that space between the legs of that very first stitch. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join and chain one. Into this space, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two, into the stitch. So we're just going to work right in to this spot right there. That is the stitch. Two strands on the top of your hook, one single crochet, and two single crochets into each space. So the spaces are gonna get two single crochets, and the stitch, just that little spot right there, is gonna get one single crochet. Just like that. So two single crochets into the space, and one single crochet into that stitch right there. One single crochet. So keep working along two single crochets into the space, one single crochet into the stitch all the way along and I will meet you when you get to your first corner. When you get to your first corner or all of your corners are going to be the same, we're going to do two single crochets, one and two, chain one, rotate your work so we can start working along the next side of our blanket and two single crochets into that same corner space. So there is our corner and we want to remember to go into that very first stitch right after our corner. So stitches one single crochet, spaces two single crochets, one and two, and corners two single crochets, chain one, and two single crochets. So you can pause the video and keep working all the way along the edge of your blanket and I'll meet you when you get back to where we started. When you reach back to where we began, we are going to join with an invisible join, but if you want to do a slip stitch to join, you can just go in to that very first chain, just that little stitch right there, and do a slip stitch to join 
and a chain one. What I don't like about that is it looks like a join. So if I did that, it would look just kind of like that. We can, of course, pin it down a little bit, but it would always have a little bit of a different look. So I'm just gonna show you a super easy way to do the invisible join. And don't be worried about it. You can totally do it if you haven't done an invisible join before. So to do an invisible join, what we're gonna do is cut our yarn. So I've just finished that last single crochet and I'm just gonna cut the yarn and pull my hook up and my yarn through that very last stitch we made, that single crochet. So I haven't joined and I've cut my yarn. Go ahead and thread your needle and a blunt tip is helpful for this. If you have a sharp tip, which I love, you can just use the eye of your needle instead of the tip. But with a blunt tip or the eye of your needle, just put your needle under the two strands of that stitch, same spot where you would be slip stitching to. Just underneath that stitch and bring it through. And just keep an eye on where that yarn is coming from. We're keeping an eye on that stitch and we just want to put our needle back down where the yarn came from. So that is your invisible join. Just give it a bit of a pull. You don't want to pull too much, but you do want to pull it enough so that it looks like one of those stitches. There. Maybe that was a bit too snug, maybe. There you go. So there is our invisible join. Now you can just go ahead and sew in your tail like usual. Sew in the rest of your tails and you're finished. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I did. I'm waiting for you in that video right there and stay hooked.